Art, and um, I'm an Irishman. I come from Cork, West Cork, and um, I'm a person who sings. Ira was the eighth of 12 children born to an Irish speaking family famous for generations of singers. He was five years old before he learned English. Irla grew up singing Shawnos in Gaelic, the old way, a dark, passionate style that meld song and oral history. I remember my first day in school, Mrs. Mac Sweeney, Mrs. Mac was my teacher. I remember she lifted me up and she stood me on a desk. First day I was ever in school, and I was about five, and she said, sing. It was almost as if there was, there was kind of shoes there waiting for me to put my feet into it. sang the old way. But as he came of age, his enthusiasm flagged. I felt a little bit like a museum piece, really. Oh, I had spent like 20 years of my life perfecting as best I could this way of singing to find out that nobody was interested except the people I grew up with. And that was a horrible realization. That was like the coldest breakfast you ever had to eat. <laughs> Frustrated, despairing, Irla found himself on a dead-end street. He quit singing entirely until fortune revealed a path. Without so much as an audition, he was invited to work with the Afro-Celt sound system. I've been so fortunate that I have the real experience of being there with these people when they sing and make music. And in a way, they're Irish to some extent. The brevity of everything they do and the levity of everything they do. And so there's a genuineness and a, a, a largeness of heart that I experienced in African music that I suppose it just shook me to the foundations, you know. I never really experienced it before. Inspired by his encounter with the African artists, Irla reclaimed his sound and began bringing it to audiences again. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.